recipe. Let's not use any buffs. Let's see what we need to do first. Doesn't seem to be a time thingy. Wait, seriously, you didn't you didn't finish it? I didn't finish what? Eric, what didn't I finish? hit for a lot Combo. Just a bit more. Why'd you have to get your shield back, man? Why? What the hell? Why are you attacking your own flower? This was the whole challenge? Okay. It was a bit weird, but not too weird. Thank God it was not a time thing. Thank God. Anyway, what's this? I have no idea what you are. Okay, you don't seem to be interactable. 
No, you're not. Okay, so we're done we're done with you. We're done with you. And I think we got a key. Yeah, we got a key. Let's go here. What's this? Ervent? Oh yeah, that's the Ervent. Friend of the Death. Um What's the fastest way there, I guess, from you? And then we'll talk to Amber in the tavern. Don't care. Oh, you're up the uh, thingy. Um, let's climb up then. <laughs> Blow away the strange mark of, with animal. This is a new event. Oh my. You have to remember those aren't, um, those aren't, um, uh, the, the ultimate isn't invincibility, it's just increased movement speed. Oh, come on. That was, that was like a goodbye gift. Smack to the face. Okay. you let's go back to the tavern and see what's up with what's up with amber oh, where was there it is She's not here. Eric, did you did you find Amber here? At Good Hunter? And did I did I uh miss out on uh, Amber's something here? Cuz I didn't came here uh, when I should have, like right right after she told us to get here. Did I miss out? Oh my god. So Storm Terror's true identity is Devalin, one of the Four Winds. We never should have forgotten his past sacrifice for Mondstadt. Every cloud has a silver lining. We're fortunate that our relationship with the Dragon of the East didn't sour past the point of no return. Oh no, just the main quest which you clearly... banned away from? For that, we have you to thank. And Jean for her unfailing devotion. As long as we oh. have the Knights of Favonius, 
peace and freedom will prevail in Mondstadt. Okay, you uh, you worried me for a second, Eric, but uh, okay then. Then I didn't miss anything. Uh, so this thing, chat with the locals. Yeah, let's do this then. Why not? Okay, you say the same thing. You don't say any you don't say anything different. But you. Here we go. This is it. Crisis, danger, the thrill of adventure. Adventurers Guild. Finally, our days of rescuing kittens and finding lost puppies are over. The age of adventure is upon us. Roll up, youngsters. Join the Adventurers Guild today. In this time of great upheaval, we must rally together, take on the dragon, and save our great city of Monster. Uh, yeah, about that. What? What? The storm terror threat is resolved? <laughs> I miss the acting clan master's speech? <sighs> Cyrus, this is me. <laughs> this is my, the embodiment of me. <laughs> ah, storm terror should have put up more of a fight. We didn't get to join in. You can, you can go and do the dungeon, my dude. It's a level 90 dungeon. Have fun with it. Uh... Nimrod. <laughs> Nimrod. Long live the heroes. <sighs> Thank you. It's finally over. Many trade routes have closed due to the storm terror incident. We can cope for now without fresh fruit and vegetables. <sighs> but if the wine supply no, dries up, wine. we're all doomed. Not the wine. <sighs> I cannot imagine a world without wine. I hope they get the trade routes back up and running soon. Wait. So Storm Terror's true identity oh. is Devalin. One of the four every cloud has a silver lining. We're fortunate that our relationship with the Dragon of the East didn't sour past the point of no return. For that we have you to think. As long as we have the Knights of Favonius, peace and freedom will prevail in Mondstadt. That was the conversation I had earlier. And this is with Amber. Greetings. May I take your order? Where's Amber, though? Why so cold? I've always thought that we enjoy quite the intimate friendship. Oh, hey, I uh, didn't see you there. <laughs> It seems your great battle sharpened not only your combat skills, but your wit as well. Ah, a knight after my own heart. Poor guy. <laughs> I'm, I feel so sorry. Can, I, can we give him some money? We have literal hundreds of thousands. Can, can't I just give him like a thousand or something? To bask in the presence of Mondstadt's new big hero is quite the morale boost. And that's coming from a knight. Sweet-talking, sugar-coated Captain Kaya. <laughs> Nonsense. I speak from the heart. Um, what are you plotting this time? Me? Nothing. On the contrary, I'm trying to work out what others are plotting. That's why I'm here. Somewhere quiet, where I can collect my thoughts. So what you thinking about then? The Abyss Order. A dragon wreaks havoc in Mondstadt, and the acting Grand Master leaves the city to combat the threat. Strategically, that's the perfect moment for the Abyss Order to make their move. If you were the Abyss Order, would you squander this golden opportunity by sending in nothing more than a few hilly churls? You're right, it doesn't add up. It doesn't, To get yeah. to the bottom of it, I decided to wait. So I waited. And watched for their next move. Then came the day you made all hell break loose in Storm Terror's lair. Just as the hilly churls' cries sounded from the city gates. That same day, I saw shadowy figures lurking in the city itself. Hmm. Inside the city? Well, all the other knights were outside, fighting the enemy. As you can imagine, that left the inside of the city completely unguarded. Except for me, of course. And so I approached the Abyss Order infiltrators for a bit of... Mm, let's call it fraternizing. Through various means, I managed to gather some rather interesting intel. The situation is this. The Abyss Order. They are united under a single leader. 
Dude, good job. Good job catching those guys. The Abyss Order has a leader? Yes. And it was this very leader who devised the plot to turn Dvalin into a weapon of war. What exactly did you have to do to find this out? Um, handshakes. Handshakes and, um, um, food, right? Friend friendly things, friendly things. <laughs> Let's just say I'm blessed with certain linguistic powers. There's more. The Abyss Order has a name for this leader. They call her the Princess. They call him. And... And we know it's her brother, right? So they didn't, they didn't, they they took into account in the uh, sub and the subtitles, but it, they didn't take into account on the um, audio. Now I'm Our sorry choice. to cut this intelligence briefing short, but I do believe I spy Amber heading this way. I think she's still angry with me for my absence from the defense effort during the attack. I'd better slip away before she notices me. Exit stage left. Well, stage right. One minute I see Kaya, the next he slipped away. Clear sign of a guilty conscience. He does a lot behind the scenes. Are you sure? Because that sounds like exactly what he'd say to talk himself out of trouble. Uh, but let's forget about him. I worked super hard today and my tummy's rumbling. Let's order. Hi, Sarah. One sticky honey roast, please. Take a seat by Amber. Oh, that's so cool. Um, oh, there, there we go. So, now the storm Roger. terror threat is behind us. What are your plans for the next step? Paimon thinks it's time to leave Monsta and keep looking through the Seven Nations until we find clues about her brother. Exactly. Huh, really? Oh, well, I guess this is goodbye for now. Oh, I will miss my Favonian family. Hey, don't feel down. You'll always be a friend of the Knights of Avonius and our honorary knight. Wherever you may go and wherever the wind may blow. I'll come back and visit. That's the spirit. Remember, Mondstadt will always welcome you. All right, now let's eat before it gets cold. You enjoyed the relaxing meal time. Mm, that mm -mm -mm. was good. Exactly, Paimon. Paimon. Amber's recommendations are worth the wait. Of course. Well, I don't trust myself in the kitchen. You can always trust me with the menu. Oh, I almost forgot to mention. Jean's waiting for you at the cathedral. It's something to do with the Holy Lyre de Himmel. You'd better head there now. Got a bunch of stuff. Well, XP mostly and money, but who doesn't like money? Meet Jean and Venti. Well, I guess we can go there. Wait, did you actually ring the bell? What time is it? Oh no, no, it's not. Well, it's nine o'clock, so maybe you did ring the bell because it was, you know, a full hour. Anything the knights can do for you? Any quests? Any quests? I don't see any quests. Barbara? What? This is Barbara, the deaconess of the church. Oh. She is here to retrieve the holy liar de Hamel. May the Animo Archon protect you. I'm not really in Barbara. a position to speak compared to our acting grandmaster, 
But I still want to thank you all on behalf of all of Mondstadt for your assistance. Fortunately, everything was resolved peacefully. I can't imagine how an all-out war between the military and the dragon would have ended. I can tell you right now, it would have ended in uh, tears <laughs> for us. Now the Fatui have no choice but to keep their mouths shut. They must be annoyed that things didn't turn out as planned for them. This time, they even lost their best excuse to pressure the Knights of Favonius. Diplomatically speaking, they gained nothing, and on the contrary, simply proved just how vexatious they can be. Sounds like quite the story. So, did you bring the Holy Lyre with you? Yep, it's broken. We cannot ask you to keep defending the Lyre forever. The Seneschal has been pressing me for a while now. We, uh, did bring it with us. <laughs> um, it's just, it's a little... Oh, don't worry. I'm not here to collect rent. The church has always received special funding. Uh, what? <laughs> uh, 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 the Holy Liar! Lord Barbados! Even if I atone for these sins for the rest of my life, it would still not be enough! <sighs> oh, give it here. Oh, don't be like that. We uh, really should get going. That trick I used to repair the Holy Liar. <laughs> I mean, the magic I used isn't going to hold forever, you know. What? <gasps> <laughs> you bard. Hey, don't go! Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Good quest. Good finish. Oh no, bad finish. No, no, no. At last, Mondstadt's rodent ruler in the flesh. La Signora. <laughs> Scurrying through the streets looking for leftovers? Monstad calls this a god? <sighs> Resident rodent beats invasive vermin. <clears throat> Don't you dare speak back to me, <sighs> insolent bard. <sighs> Absentee Archon of Monstad. How impotent you've become. That smirk you wear looks out of place. Did you steal it from your master's face? Ah, <laughs> burn! You should have held your tongue. Um. So, this is a gnosis. Wouldn't be caught dead wearing this ugly thing in public. Beauty is a waste when the beholder has no taste. <laughs> Venti! <laughs> well, we have what we came here for. Come, before our dear Favonian friends arrive. Leave nothing for them to find. <laughs> After much time has passed? outside the cathedral and used my elemental powers to heal you. That bard awakened first, but strangely, my healing powers had almost no effect on him. This is the first time I've encountered such a patient. But he just said, it's completely normal, and then got up and left the cathedral. He left? Oh 
already? Where'd he go? The symbol of Mondstadt's hero. That's what he said. I wanted to stop him, but Jean... Uh, I... I mean... Master Jean said to let him leave. How strange. I think I understand. Paimon remembers Venti healing under that tree before. It's probably due to the connection between Windrise and the Animal Archon. Master Jean has figured it out as well, but we can't tell Barbara. No, screw uh, La Signora. Uh, the Fatui were the ones who attacked you? That's too much. Master Jean has already returned to the Knight's headquarters. She said that she will look for evidence. But she also said that if the Fatui didn't leave any traces, the Knights might find it difficult to lodge a complaint against them. Hmm. Okay. Let's go to the three. No, no. Not this. Oh. That's another level up. Amongst the branches is good. I love the way it smells. <laughs> I said the exact same thing last time. <sighs> Why do I only say these things when I'm down on my luck? So, what is a gnosis? Gnosis. Gnosis. Uh, so you noticed. <sighs> this isn't something I'm meant to discuss with ordinary people. But I suppose I can let you in on the secret. As you know, Visions are external magical foci that only a small minority of people possess. They use these visions to channel elemental power. In truth, every wielder of a vision is one who can attain godhood and ascend to Celestia. We call such people Allogenes. Okay. Allogenes? Paimon's never heard of them before. <laughs> That's because this is a secret that only Archons are privy to. We don't need primitive tools like visions. Instead, each Archon has an internal magical focus that resonates directly with Celestia itself. Known as a Gnosis. Yeah, what about the, the thing? Yeah, this thing. Hanging off your hip. <laughs> it's just a glowing glass ball I carry around to avoid suspicion. <laughs> I feel cheated. But I guess I'm used to that by now. So who was that nasty woman who sent Paimon flying and stole your Gnosis? Her name is Signora, number eight of the Harbingers. She and the rest of the Harbingers have been given godlike executive authority by the Tsaritsa of Snejnaya, and with it, strength surpassing that of other mortals. Tsaritsa. I guess it's the feminine of Tsar. The Tsaritsa of Snejnaya? Isn't that... Indeed. She is one of the seven. The Tsaritsa who reigns from her winter palace. And the one person that the Fatui Harbingers all answer to. The seven don't always get along well, but still. I never thought that she would plot to steal another Archon's Gnosis. Oh, so she's a god. She's not just a leader of the country. She's actually the god of that country. Oh my god. Ah. Uh... How should I put this? Oh, the question is, what kind of god is Tsaritsa? 500 years ago, I knew her well. But I can't say the same is true now. You see, a certain catastrophe happened 500 years ago. And after that, she cut off all ties with me. But we can save discussion of the Cryo Archon and the Fatui for another day. If you seek the rest of the Seven, many difficulties lie ahead of you still. You should head for Mondstadt's neighboring nation of Liyue. The Geo Archon who reigns there, unlike me, administrates his entire region personally. Oh, uh, the Morax. He only descends once every year to give his divine predictions, which set the direction for Liyue for the rest of that year. Even so, it sounds like he works much harder than a certain someone. <laughs> <laughs> In any case, this year's rite of dissension is soon to begin. If you miss it, You'll just have to wait another year. What? Oh, why didn't you tell us before? Well, then bye! We're going! 
One moment, Windborn Outlander. <laughs>